Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I have pulled out a variety of goodies, Christmas goodies, to finish this little journal insert or journal, whichever one you want to make it. We're going to try to finish it up today. Now this is a piece of paper that I got in Happy Mail. Uh, I think I showed this over the weekend. So I'm going to make a couple of little corner tuck tears. Let's see, about right there, I think. This feels like a mulberry paper. I don't know. Yeah, and then we'll trim that off. And it's got just little flakes of blue in it. Yes, that'll work there. And then I want one for this side. So I am just going to see how big I want that. Probably about to right there. I'm just going to cut that straight across. I may use that other piece for another pocket somewhere. Yeah, it's got crunchies in it, so... <laughs> I'm thinking that it's a, I don't know, maybe a handmade paper. It's pretty whatever it is. Okay. We'll put that one there. And I think I'm going to ink this one in blue and that one in red. And I'm going to have to go easy with this little dauber since it's falling apart so I don't get a mess everywhere and yeah I could change I've got more somewhere but um, right now I'm just gonna leave it boy that one is very very juicy uh oh I inked it on the wrong side so we'll ink it on this side there we go and that little tuck will go there. This is a fun little project. I may have to make a few more of these. And I don't know, I might even make this into a journal now that I'm liking it as well as I am. And I want to add more and more and more to it because, you know, if you put it as an insert, there's only so much that you're going to be able to add. before it gets too bulky. Yeah, that paper even looks like it's got like sticks and things like that in it. Hmm. I don't know that I've seen a paper exactly like that before. Because that right there is like a little stick. Hmm. If anybody knows what it is, let me know. I know the person that sent it to me will. There we go. And now I'm going to save those pieces. And I want to do a little bit of embellishing here. These are some little poinsettias that Katie made and sent to me last year. And then I also had just some little, different little embellishments from different places. So I'm going to use some of these. There we go. Then jingle. I don't remember. I think these came from Hello Susan. I think they were one of her paper collections from last year. Found them in my last year's Christmas box. So there we go. And for those of you who don't know who Katie is, she is one of our designers. She makes beautiful items. Beautiful. And she sends me some little goodies every so often. And I absolutely love them. She does not have a YouTube and does not want one and does not have an Etsy store. So before you ask, <laughs> she said she was retired and she doesn't want any other job except making things like this that she enjoys making. So that's what she's doing. There we go. Oh, I like that. That's cute. 
put these back in the bag before I end up tearing them up. Oops, pulled one off. Okay, so I think that's got that other than we'll make a little tag to go in there. Um, I'll probably just pull the tags in a minute when we go through. These are also from Katie. And they are little doilies in different colors. I'm not going to use the green since we really don't have any green in here. So I'll probably use white and red. That's cute right there. I might just put that little piece of doily right there and a little label on it. Then we'll go ahead and trim this off. Now I can use those other pieces somewhere else. I never waste any of my doilies. It's like vellum. I'll always save my pieces of vellum. Oops, wrong dauber. There we go. Then we'll put a little label there. I think I have some blue labels. And I'm not sure where these came from. I want to say that Betty did these. And Betty, you may correct me. Because you know I can't remember. Let's put no L right there. Oh, maybe piece. Let's put piece there. And I may trim this one on down. They're a little bit large for what I want right there. So I may just trim it on down. Yeah, that'll be the right size. Yeah, I'm thinking these were from Betty and they're in her Etsy store, I do believe. They're all different colors. All right, and then I thought about one of these little buttons. They're little tiny buttons that Katie also made, but no, they're green, so I'm not going to put green in there because I've already I'm already using just blue and red, so I'll leave those off. Let's see what Mr. Santa might look like there. Well, now he's okay, because he's just got a red suit on, so he's all right. Let's put him down. And I don't know how Katie made these. I think it's just chipboard, and then um, probably something like uh, some type of resin, maybe? I don't know. Katie, if you're watching, you can let them know below. But they're very flat, so they're good for your journals. Right. And then that little pocket... It opens back here, so I'm not going to cover any of this up, I don't think, because I like those words and things on there, so I don't think I'm going to put anything there. We'll put a little tag in there, and then here, I want to put a little something on there. What do we think about some of that red lace and make it a belly band? Put it right there. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'll trim this off. And this is some trim that I got from Blue Fern last year. And it's pretty expensive, so I never did get any to put in the store because it is, I felt like, way too expensive for me to try to sell. So I just got just one... Uh, package of it and then I didn't I didn't order any more it was just a little bit too expensive if I'm gonna have to charge you guys an arm and a leg for something then I don't I don't carry it because if I can't make just a little bit of money off of it and then you guys get a good deal on it then I'm not gonna carry it that could use a little bit more trimming right there I mean, even my wholesale price was high, I thought. All right, so that's a little belly band. So when that dries, we can tuck something under there. I might put a little piece of white trim just down through there. Just a 
a little bit of white. Yeah, I like that. I got everything pulled out of my desk. When I craft, I feel like I've got to have everything that's anything in front of me. Okay. There we go. That's cute. And then it'll show from that side as well. So I like that. And then, let's see, we put the opening at the top. So what do we want on here? I don't want to cover the deer, but I'd like to cover other parts of it. All right, let's just do a little red doily there and we'll figure out something to put in it. Then the, the rest of it will just show and I like that, that's okay. That paper is so pretty, I don't want to cover it up. That'll just cover that little part of that bear that's not showing there. He's just, we don't want to see just his back end. We'd rather see all of him. Okay. So that there, and then a little label of some kind. Maybe. Um, well, we've got Hello Winter. I don't think we need to put another label there. Let's see if we have anything else. I told you I drug everything out. Everything. All of these little boxes of cuties from people that sent me Happy Mail last year. We could put this that says Joy. Let's see how that would look before we... Yeah, I don't mind that. So put that down there. Uh, I did find a few more of these packs of the button stickers, if you want them. I uh, put them in the store this morning. I found them in a box that I thought had already been cleared out, but evidently it hadn't. All right, to this one we opened at the top. And I was just going to put a label on there, wasn't I? Because I didn't want to cover my bear up. You know, these might have come from the journal boat these labels. But now that I look at them, they may be from the journal Boat, B-O-A-T, on Etsy. Let's just put snow. Yeah, I'm going to cut this down too because that's pretty big. Yeah, and since I have a few little pieces of words showing right there, I am going to put a little piece of doily there underneath that. And let's see... I'm going to check out one of my pieces and see if that'll work. It may not be big enough. Oh, it is actually just about the right size. Now, I'm going to do one, cut one in half, and just make a little bit bigger. That is a really a different color red, but I'm going to go with it. Don't worry about that. Okay, we just want to bring it down because we don't want to cover up our little bear's mouth. Okay, then we'll put snow on there. It's not too bad off, is it? And let's see. Let's put maybe a little tiny button on there. There. Like that. Okay. Then on this side, what can we do there? Okay, I'll just run a piece of that trim across there and leave it as a little pocket. I left my glue turned over, so now I've got a big glob right there. Someone asked me if you thin your glue out, your um, Fabrifix, when you thin it out, how do you know how much acetone to put in it? Well, I just add acetone to my jar until, or to my bottle, until the and shake it up and let it sit for a little while until you get the consistency that, you know, where it will run well. It's hard to tell you exactly how much because that that all depends on how much glue you stir out in your bottle too. 
So um, just add a little. So you just need to add a little, shake it up, close it up and let it sit for a little while and then test it. And if it's still not thin enough, then add a little bit more. So that that's just the way that I do. I don't think there's exactly a rhyme or reason as to how much you need to add. But that just seems to work for me. Okay, then here. I think I'll use a piece of this. This is some coffee dyed paper that I got from Veronica at Triple V Vintage. Triple V Vintage. I'll link her store below. It's on Etsy. And this is her coffee dyed Christmas paper. I'm, I'm sure she probably has it this year. I, got, I had this from last year. It's beautiful. I gotta get more, Veronica. I need more to do a Christmas journal with, so I've got to get on your site if I can ever remember. I tell you, my, my brain doesn't function too well. Uh, that looks a little crooked, so I'm going to try to tear that again. I'll probably make a mess out of it. Usually when I try to tear a little bitty bit, I forget and don't hold it real well. Oh, actually, that tore pretty good. She also uses a very thick paper to coffee dye, so it's nice to use in your journals. Now, I'm not putting pulls in these pockets. I just didn't start putting them in there, so I'm not going to put them in any of them. But you can certainly do that if you want. So there's that little pocket. And you can see that's like a poinsettia. Or poinsettia, ever how you pronounce it. Some people say it one way, some people say it another. I just say it the country way. <laughs> country, country. I think I'll take a tiny little bit of book page and put behind that. Just builds up your layers, and that's what you want to focus on is building up your layers. And I'm not layering as much in this as I normally would because I haven't really decided yet exactly what I'm going to do with it. But you can just keep adding layers if you want to. And it just makes it prettier, I think. Okay. That there. That on there. Uh-oh, I got a glare. That's why my camera went dark. There we go. Pull that out of the way. Just happened to look up. All right. Now, I want something there. Okay. Sorry, I had to stop out and go get a package. I try to get the... Uh, oh, now I'm out of breath. I try to get them to bring them in for me if possible, especially when it's pouring down rain like it is. And the ones that I know are going to be really heavy. But I didn't get to him in time. Oh, there's a Christmas tree stamp. Let's see if we can get that. And these are some stamps that I got from a sweet friend of mine. Ooh. She sent me a bunch, and I just dropped some in the floor, so I'm going to have to. Okay, there's a sleigh or a Christmas tree. Hmm, I think I'm liking the sleigh better. And it's a little torn, but that's okay. That's, that's what makes them vintage. Oh my goodness, that package was heavy. I may be winded for the rest of the video now. <laughs> oh, okay. So put that there, and then I want a, some kind of phrase down through here. I'd rather have a phrase than just a word. So let's see if I've got some phrases in here. I've got Seasons Greetings, and I think these came from our collection. What about Deck the Halls? Let's do that one. From um, some of our digitals that we had last year. Now, most all of our digitals now are, they're either free 
or they're free to the club kit members but you're welcome to check out any of our digitals on our blog and that blog is on our website you go to the website and click on blog but you all that we ask is that you do be a subscriber to our channel in order to download those and these are back there somewhere I'm pretty sure probably way back last year okay so then we got another pocket there and this I don't want to cover my house up there I know that and this is okay too so I think I might leave that one just as is this one does need a little bit of breaking up well, I kind of like that there. This is one of the journaling cards that comes with it. And on this side, it doesn't come with the collection, but you can get it with it. It's the same collection. And I would need to cut that off. But see, you could even journal here if you wanted to. I don't know what's happened to my pencil. I'm having to use a pen. Today, somebody has stolen my pencil off my desk. right let's see yeah that's the right size and I'm just going to use my little corner rounder and just do that smallest little corner round because these little corners are rounded just a tiny bit oops I didn't even hold that one in there Edith you got to hold it in there we go Yes, I like that. So it, it'll be a pocket and a journaling card. So we'll put that right there. And there are extras of these in the package. So if you use one up that you really like on the other side, you don't have to worry about it. You've got extras. I read your comments this morning and there was lots of people who said that you're now addicted to saving your envelopes and things like I do. I, hey, it, it does get addictive. Every time you look at it, you're thinking, I don't need to throw that away because I can use it. Let's not throw it away. Let's use it. That's what I do all the time. Every time I get a piece of mail, I'm looking at it like, mm, how can I use that? It's hard to tell which side is which. I'm thinking about putting a little piece of that down at the bottom. What do you think? I think I'll do it. I like lace in a journal. Just to me, it makes it look better. I know I'm not very talkative today. I guess I'm just concentrating. I don't know what, what it, I'm not sad or anything. I'm just concentrating, and I've got a lot on my mind today. A lot I want that I want to do. Now, whether I'll get it all done or not is a different story. But I do have a lot that I want to do. So let's see. I think we need a label up here somewhere. If I can get them out of the bag. These, she sent me these last year and I didn't get to use them because I had already made most all of my journals. So these are stuck too. I must have had these in the bottom of the of my Christmas box. There we go. All right. I think we'll put. Merry Christmas on there. I thought these were, are these already sticky? No, they're not already sticky, but she has them on a little sticky sheet like thing, so they can stick on there. That's a great idea. And see, she trimmed them out and everything. She's such a good, sweet person. See, they're, they're on a little, I guess you could call that a little sticky sheet. And then she trimmed them all out so they're ready to go. And she put them in these little bags. All right, so there's that. I love that. I'm going to go ahead and put a little piece of doily up here too. I'm just trying to decide which way I want to turn it. So the kiddos and I and my girls, Melina and Alicia, Presley, Brooklyn, and Bethany. And I'm sure Aaron will help us some. 
you know, he's probably going to help with the cookies. But he wants to put up the Christmas tree, so. But we're going to have a little, our little cookie cutting or cookie making thing Saturday. So, I, got, I bought all of the ingredients to make sugar cookies and chocolate chip cookies and all of that today. So they're all excited. Brooklyn said, Nene, how many can we make? A hundred or two hundred? I said, well, we can make a bunch. <laughs> all right. I want to put something on that little doily. What can I put on there? I just don't feel like it's finished out, but I don't think that will show those little poinsettias. Let's try something out of here. Nope, that's green. We don't want to use green. We've already determined that. We've only got blue and red going here, so let's see what that would look like. If we put a little... Oh, that's cute. Just put... I mean, it, it's... I think it's a little resin flower, but... It'll be fine. It looks pretty much like a snowflake to me. See, my glue is getting to the point where I need to put more acetone in it because it's getting kind of stringy, and when it gets to that point, it's really needing some acetone. But I'm almost out of this bottle, so I'll, I'll probably make it last until I start my new bottle. All right, so that there open it up over here so hmm I think all I'm going to put here is a little piece of lace because I want my houses to show I don't want to cover those up okay I think I'll just tear a little piece of this and put that down there don't uh, I don't necessarily want any lace on that it just something about it just didn't look right to me anyway and that's just everybody looks at things a little bit different so and that is fine that you do wouldn't it be awful if we all seen things the same way I love how this inks up somebody's got to let me know what this paper is and where I can get more <laughs> I love it and it just goes with the project so well because it's got that little fleek of blue in there Fleck. Some people say fleck. I say fleek. Some people say potato or potato. I say potato. There we go. Got that there. And we can still use that for a little tuck pocket if we want to. Then this is our back right here. So we can put something there if we want. We could put another pocket here. Whatever we would want to. Or you can just leave it as is. I'm thinking I might put another pocket there. Or we might just, let's try this. Um, let's see if I've got a piece that's long enough. I've just got my scraps pulled out here. Yeah, this piece is long enough. I don't know if that one is. No, that's not. We may just put a long belly band down through there and just use the belly band, put something behind it. So let's make kind of a wide one because we've got lots of room. Looks like Christmas exploded on my desk. that belly band there and then I may run some lace down through there too so let's give it a little bit of ink so that look pretty straight maybe and I'm thinking I might want to run this down through there this has beautiful beautiful butterflies on it hmm nope not that one that one doesn't, doesn't strike my fancy. Fancy. 
This one is pretty, but I think it would be too wide. It's got the red on it, though. The red's just going to blend in, so we can't do that one. So I may have to get up and go to my lace box. This one, I, it's too wide, so let me grab a little bit more lace. Okay, I just pulled out a few choices here. I'm thinking I'm going to like that one, but we're going to try it and see. And these are our lace bones. Uh, that's what Benji calls them, bones. Oh, I kind of like that. I think that might be our winner right there. And I love my lace bobbins or bones, whatever you want to call them, for my, all of my lace. Now I've got all my lace organized, and it's all on the little bobbins. And I've got it color-coded so I can just go straight to where I want. Oh yeah, I like that. Very cute. Now, <laughs> since I found this blue, I don't know. I might want more blue on here. Hmm, is that overkill? Or should I put that just somewhere else? I think I'll put that somewhere else. Maybe. Right here. That would be cute. Across there. Little winter flowers. That's what we'll call those. I hope you guys enjoy seeing me decorate things like this I enjoy doing it now I'm a little slower at it because I think I overthink everything but I I know I love to watch people decorate I'll sit and watch like Rachel and Carol Laws I'll sit and watch them decorate all day long it's like oh I would have never thought about putting that there It's just a difference. You learn, I learn things when I watch other people put embellishments on. Because you see things that you may not have thought about. Okay, we need to put a little something here because that's a little bit plain, even though we've got our lace on there. Let's do, let's cut this out. This little piece right here says, let's get cozy. These little strips are good to do your embellishing with, too. Yeah, I think we can cut it off right there after the cozy. Really, I can cut it right there. There we go. All right, so see what we have so far. I think we're about ready to make some journaling cards or put journaling cards in. Oh, I love this. Love, love, love it. Okay. We need to decorate more on the front, but I'm not going to do that until I get my cards in everywhere else because it just, I can see how much I need to put on the front by doing that. So let's grab our cards. Now these are the cards that you can get that, uh, go with the kit let's see let's put that blue one down there and they're just right for this they're so cute oh i like that one stay cozy put that there they've got lots of journaling room on the back of them so that's a good good point all right Put our little ones over here so we got those in there now this we're gonna have to make a little tag for because that's really tiny this we could put uh, mm, that's too big probably had to make one for that because these little ones are really too little and the big one is too big so and one for that this one we should be able to use one of these we could use that there's snow place like home. Snow place. And then on this side, we should be able to use one of these too. We could, let's use the red one. You could put two or three in there. That's so big. 
All right, we'll have to make our little card for that. This, we can use a little card there. You could put two in if you wanted to. And then, didn't we open this up at the top? Yes, we did. Let's see what we got. I like to use the pre-made cards if I can. It's just a lot easier, isn't it? But if I can't, then I can make my own. Okay, I think this one's going to fit. If I hadn't glued everything together down through there. Okay, if you're having problems getting your card down in, take your ruler. Just run your ruler down the side. Feels like I've glued a little knot right there, so... Now let's see how that works. Yep, that did it. So there's that one. Then we don't have anything here. Then we need to put something under here. And I can either put some of these under there. Two or three. Or we can make some. And I think I'll just include a couple like that there. Now we got a little tiny pocket here. We just do that. I love, I'm loving this. I'm definitely going to have to be making more. Okay, we need to make our little one for there. We've got that one. Need to make one for there. One for that one. Okay. Let's go ahead and make one for this one. I just need to see what size. That's going to be three and three quarters. And then I'm not going to go any larger than maybe two and a half. So three and three quarters by two and a half. And I may have some paper that I can use without having to cut into anything. Okay, that's going to work. So let's cut this down. We'll first see if that's going to fit in there. Yes, it's going to fit in perfect. Okay, I really don't know where my video just cut off at. I don't know what is going on with my camera or my computer, whichever one it is. But for some reason, it just cut off right in the middle of everything. I just happened to look up and I seen that it had that it was off, that it had quit working, so. All right, I think I'm gonna use the red side, so I'm gonna cover this with this on the back, and that way you can journal on it. So, I guess I'm gonna have to get my computer down and work on it, or my camera down and work on it, or something. Because it, it went off like that the other day, too, in my video, and I didn't realize it. Unless I look up, I don't know that it stopped recording. And I don't look up very often. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and round the corners on this. And the reason being is that's a tiny little pocket and I think it'll slide in and out a lot better if they're rounded. Then you can journal on the back of that. And I'll probably decorate on it. I don't. I won't decorate right now, I don't think. But um, I will probably decorate it before I do whatever I'm going to do with it. And then you've got just a little tab there that you can pull on. This one, we need one that will slide down in here. That looks about right. So let's go ahead and trim this one off. So I'll take some pictures of the cookies that the kids make. Show you guys. I usually just buy the ingredients and I just kind of turn the kids loose in there. The grandkids and let them go. Um, they have fun with it and I don't care what kind of mess they make because it can be cleaned up. So... I don't worry about that kind of stuff. I'm just glad to have a kitchen that I can work in again and have the kids over and let them do some cooking. Been a long time. All right, I'm gonna cover the back of this with this blue. And this is some that, I don't remember if I made this or somebody else did. I have made some this color, and I use just ink and water. You can use ink and water. So if you have some old inks that you don't use anymore, ink pads, you can 
just add some water to them and use a brush or a paper towel or whatever you've got and brush it on let it dry and you have got some pretty paper and it's not quite as big a mess as coffee dyeing like when I coffee dye in the summer I coffee dye outside but in the winter I don't slide that down in there and then we definitely need to embellish this some because it's everything is a little bit too blendy blendy for me so I want to put something that will contrast just a little bit on it to make it look a little bit better right so let's use let's use a little piece of book page I'll put that down like that and then I'll trim around the edges but I'm going to take a little bit of this off so all I'm going to do is tear backward instead of toward me I tear away from me and it pulls a little bit of that where you tore it that white edge tears a little bit of that off let's see let's go ahead and do this one in red There we go. I'm going to put my ink, my ink, my glue around through here. So then that will go down in there, but we've got another little pocket here on top that we can slide one of these cards down in. Nope, we got to stay cozy there. Can't do that. Let's do bundle up. Put that there, and then we'll embellish this a little bit. Bring in another doily. Those doilies are so pretty. And they're just the right color for this collection. I love that. And then maybe a poinsettia. Or two. I am liking that. I know that's a lot of poinsettias and things on there, but I like it. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then we need a label or something there. And I think I want to put gather together. Let's see. Yeah, I don't mind that. And I never put my labels and things in the center because to me that makes it look too planned. So I always offset them a little bit. Okay, I think that's all the decorating I'll do on that one right now until I decide what I'm going to do with this little journal as it's turning into. I am loving it. Got a little bit of glue right there that I need to use my eraser and get off. There we go. It's a little um, glue remover. You get glue somewhere where you don't want. You can just use that. I don't think we have any more of those in the store. We did have them, but they sold out, and I don't think we've got any more. But uh, I'll see if I can find a place and link them below. All right, I think that is it. I think we're good. Oh, we didn't make world card for here. We didn't make a card. Yeah, we did. That card. No, we have another place right here that we need to put a card. So I've got one, let's see, two. I've got two more cards that I need to do, but I'm probably going to do them off camera and just put them in here because, I mean, you guys know how to do cards and things like that, so I don't have to continue to make cards for you but 
We do need to do a little bit to the front. This did come from ePapery. I'll put their link below. She crocheted these uh, doilies and I'm thinking might just put a poinsettia in the middle of that. And then put us a label across here. Let's try jingle bells this time. Yeah, I like that with the doily. That looks good. So we'll do that. But I also thought about putting a few of these little, they look like road signs. Thought about putting those around in different places. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Yeah, I like that. So let's go ahead and glue this little poinsettia down. Or do we want one of these in the center? What do we want? We would. It would have to be one with red on it. What about the Santa? Okay, the Santa or, oh, that's stuck. The poinsettia. What do you think? Poinsettia, Santa. I think the poinsettia because it shows up better. That one's a little bit small. And the, the others have too much green in them to look right on this, I think. So we're going to do this. Put that right there. Like that. Okay. And then I'll put a tag in here. So which one? What about snowflakes like home? Nope, I think we need a red one, don't you? I don't know if I have another red one that's turned the right way. Yeah, we got that one. That's cute. Okay, I'm thinking that I'm going to stop right there for now. Like I said, I may add more when I decide what I want to do with it. I think I'm going to turn this into a journal because it's already pretty thick. And I'll just put some pages in here and let this be a journal. I do need to cover the back, but I'll cover that off camera. I mean, I'm just going to use my scraps to cover the back with. You can also leave... Um, Oh, I didn't put tags in here. I started to say you can also leave that back open so that you can put um, cards in there, too, if you want. These are going to be too big, so I'm going to have to make cards for those, I'm pretty sure. Well, no, they're not going to be too big. Look at that. Well, they do stick out quite a bit, though. Yeah. I need to have to trim these off, or, and I don't want to trim them, so I'm just going to make some journal cards to go in there. But basically, that is it. And like I said, I think I'm going to turn it into a journal. And just make this whole thing into a journal. I do want some trim down through here. I just think that will look good. And I don't know which one, but we'll see which one looks the best. I don't know about the flowers. I wish I had one that had snowflakes on it. That would be pretty. Let's go with this one, maybe. Down through there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there we go. That is our front part of our journal. And... I think I might add another solid looking tag behind this one just to kind of help it keep from being so busy. That'll kind of break it up a little bit. Like that. So that is it, guys. Other than putting my pages in there and then just doing those couple of tags that I need to do 
So when I finish it, when I get the tags made and put my pages in there, I will come back and show you the finished product. But that's it right now. And it's all made from a paper bag and a few envelopes. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.